Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. You can follow us on X, formerly Twitter. You can follow us on Instagram. Currently Meta. <laughs> um, you can also follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Thank you for watching our show. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there, John Lewandowski. How you doing, John? Uh, working oh, on getting better. Just a quick heads up, me and John both are getting over this. We do have a slight cough, but that is about it. Yeah. Um, wheezing and cough, uh, and that's just due to congestion. If we could ever figure out how to get rid of that part, we'd both be happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, if I could go uh, about four hours without not coughing, I'd be good. But um, before we get into this, let's talk a little bit about what happened to the over the last uh, 48 hours. It's been wild, <laughs> literally. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'll fire Dean Evans and Admiral's former head coach. I literally felt like I was trolling the wild on our page. And uh, they fire him and hired John Hines. Uh, John Hines, uh, I don't think that, that their system, his system had anything to do with today's 3-1 win. I think the guys went out there and played hockey, and that's that's just that simple. Um Sometimes the best things happen when you just let the guys play and yeah. you don't put a system in place to play. You just, let, hey, do what you think is right. <coughs> and sometimes um, it's a really good thing. Other nights it's a really bad thing. Um, you can't do that really too long. Um, the whole Corey Perry situation is, well, though couldn't have happened to a better guy and to a better organization. As we all know, I have no love for the Blackhawks. After the Cody Beach situation and many, many other issues that I've had with the Blackhawks, dating back to when this team tried to become an NHL team and they blocked us, or the fact that this team had to sit there and watch them pick the first overall pick in a draft they shouldn't even had one because of Cody Beach's situation. So you get where I'm going. There's a lot to unwrap there as far as my disdain towards the Blackhawks. But that's nonetheless there. Um my thoughts on how my thought on how they handled it is I think they handled it horribly. Yay yeah, should have came out yesterday when they announced that he was taking time away and said the truth when the internet and everybody else was spewing all the rumors. Um, so as far as uh, the Wild, John, what are your thoughts on the Wild switching coaches? Um, sometimes you just need to switch things up. I mean, I don't know the whole situation, so I can't really speak more than that. They were um, on a seven-game losing streak. Yeah, that's a that's about all I know. I don't. I really didn't. Uh, I mean, I know Evanson was the coach before this, but um, you know he'd been there quite a while, and sometimes you just need to change things up. But then at the same time, you also have to look at the organization as a whole. They have fourteen million in dead salary cap. Okay. So, like, um, just because of Parise and Suter. Right. They're buying out of their contracts. So, I mean, it, it, it's... You can't pay your players when you don't have the money. Right. You know, and, and that's where you hope... Well, I don't understand why they didn't try to trade them and just eat, like, a form of the cap. Like, okay, we'll take half the cap out of this one. Right. But it's better than what they're eating currently. Yeah. So, because they're eating right now more than what their salary would have been. Right. So, um, but that's all I got for our NHL news part. At this point, I'll turn it over to John for stats. All right. 
Well, today the Nashville Predators took on the Pittsburgh Penguins. Shots on goal in the first period, Pittsburgh outshot Nashville 11 to 9. In the second period, Pittsburgh outshot Nashville 14 to 9. In the third period, um, Nashville outshot Pittsburgh 7 to 6. And in, in total, Pittsburgh outshoots Nashville 31 to 26. Um, Nashville was a little better in the faceoff circle, uh, 52.9% to Pittsburgh's 47.1%. On the power play, Pittsburgh went 0 for 2 with 11 penalty minutes, while Nashville goes 0 for 3 with 9 penalty minutes. Nashville out hits Pittsburgh by a lot, 32 to 15. And uh, Pittsburgh out blocks Nashville 16 to 8. All righty, scoring in the first was Michael McCarron with his second with an assist from Tyson Berry, his ninth, and Nyquist, his 13th. Um, that was deflected, uh, shot by Berry. It was just knocked down by McCarron and into the back of the net it went. Um, then McCarron finds the back of the net on a nice wrist shot. Um, I give a lot of the credit to McCarron for making the play happen. But the reason that the goaltender didn't see it was all Parson, and Parson and screened him perfectly. Yeah. He didn't even know the puck was shot. So for that sake, I will say that, you know, Parson does deserve some credit. I know he doesn't get on the assist sheet here with Tomasino getting his sixth and yeah. Forsberg getting his 15th, which Forsberg's had the hottest start. Um, in Predators history since Steve Sullivan in 2007. So, just to add that in there. Um, in the second period, it's Kenny Malkin, one of my favorite players ever to all, ever play. Um, Malkin, always one of those guys who just work hard, doesn't care how... Who he's got with him, he just works hard and makes the good right plays. Um, Pittsburgh spoiled with the center core that they got. Yeah. Um, but Malkin, Malkin's been a big part of that for many, many, many years. And um, I like Malkin. I can't say the same about Crosby, but I like Malkin. Um, his tenth with an assist from Smith, his seventh. That was a wrist shot. I'll let you take the rest. <laughs> All right. In the third period at the 226 mark, Rust scores for Pittsburgh, his 10th of the year, assisted by Ludwig, his first, and Gensel, his 17th. That was a wrist shot. And that tied it at 2-2. Two, two to two, And that would do it for the scoring in the third period. And we go to overtime. Where 14 seconds is all it took for Forsberg of Nashville, scoring his 12th of the year, assisted by Yossi, his 12th, and O'Reilly, his 9th. Um, that incredible play by O'Reilly to keep That's his really line there while being pummeled by Crosby. Yep. <clears throat> I apologize for that. I had a I was like, I'm turning her over here. Can't breathe. I got a cough. <laughs> As we said, we're still getting over this. We're still trying to move forward. Um, in that for the Preds was Juice Saros is now. Also, congratulations, Saros, on um being named third star of the week last week. Um, we apologize. Uh, we had stepped away not only for the holidays, but because we were all kind of under the weather. We have good days and bad days over this time. Um, no, our show is not brought to you by NyQuil or Vicks Vapor Rub Company. Uh -huh. Even though, thank you for making such wonderful products to help us through this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, uh, we. Uh, what one thing I can say while we were gone is we did pay attention to what was going on. And one of the things that we did see is that when the Preds started winning, when they started playing together, 
when they started pushing together. You know, it's not just one guy stepping up. It's everybody. Yeah. You saw it tonight with McCarron. Right. With, goal, with two goals in the fight. All he needed was the apple and he got a Gordy. <laughs> but, you know, um, you know, uh, I love Gordy. <laughs> but, you know, Gordy Howe, probably one of the greatest hockey players to play. And, and you, you specialize. One assist a game, a fight a game, and a goal a game. That's all you should need. Uh, that was what he always believed. If you could do all, th play all three parts of that game, teammate, score, physicality. If you could do all three of those, your team's going to win. Well, and, and believe it or not, I guess he just had to find the back of the net twice. You know, so um, given that, there's that part of it. John's tree is going ballistic, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my lights are behind me. We're still trying to feel a little festive. It's not... <clears throat> We're trying. Um, we wish everyone a happy holidays amongst the time. Yeah. Um, we know that there are quite a few in the month of December that everyone likes to celebrate. And you leave him alone. <laughs> There's a little kitty cuddled in back here. <laughs> so you be nice, old man. <laughs> so, yes, I understand. Uh, you know, uh, we all have our uh, our quirks. Mine are my cats. John's kind of the same. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, uh, out of everything, they've all been playing pretty well. Atlanta, Milwaukee, Nashville. We've all been doing pretty well. Yeah. And I mean, a six-game win streak isn't something easy to come across. No, it isn't. Winning three in a row is hard. We haven't been able to do that yet this year as an Admirals team. We win two and then we're just like, uh, uh. <laughs> for a game. Normally when Yaro's in net, unfortunately. Um, you know. Uh, looking around, um, oh, Patrick Kane signs with the Red Wings. Red Wings have been surprisingly good this year. Yeah. Um, I was looking around, looking at everything, because we missed NHL news due to us being sick, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So we were going to, I was going to jump into a little bit of it, try and catch us up. Um, This weekend, sometime, we'll get it in the system done. But right now we're doing NHL news. We're not going to cover any more news this week. I don't care what comes out about Perry. I don't care about the drama. Uh, that's not what this show is about. Mm, right. Unless it's something horrible, we're not going to talk about it. Unfortunately, it has to be really bad. And and then we have to find what we're going to say. <laughs> mm. So, um, and, and all in all, um, Reds fans, be happy. Um, this is what a competitive rebuild looks like. You have young kids getting a valuable experience. Um, Gold Saros is starting to get his form back, which I think it just took a little bit of time for the defensive system to kick in. Um, I know that once Novak and, and Glass are back, that'll be a little bit easier. Um, hopefully Glass is back a little sooner. Um, I know that Novak, they said around December 15th was the push date, which means the rush date. So end of December being the other part of it, which is like the week after Christmas. Like I think that was like that Monday or something. So literally you're talking about him possibly not playing until January because if he is hurt that badly and he's going to miss a month of playing time, he's probably going to end up getting sent down on conditioning. Yeah. So, um, we'll see what happens there. 
But uh, out, of, out of all truthfulness, uh, I hope Cody Glass isn't made of that in which his last name is because he's been hurt a lot this year. Um, you know, kind of like Glass. It just feels like every time he gets hit, or hit he shatters. Um, it's just a worry I have that he's injury prone. Got a lot of skill, got a lot of ability. I just don't know. So he's got a lot to prove. So um, for you people in Wisconsin, bundle up tonight. It's a chilly one. Mm -hmm. uh, currently 16 degrees here. So uh, Nashville, be happy. It's warm there. Uh -huh. It's uh, 16 with... Uh, oh, that's not even our weather. Ha! 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 That's Slingers. It's 18 here. Ooh, what a two temperature di interest difference will do. It's 18 with a feels like a uh, five. And in Nashville, it is 25 degrees with a feels like of 18. Okay, it's not that much man. warmer. But y'all's high tomorrow is like 42. Mm -hmm. uh, 59. So Oh, oh, enjoy Thursday, 62. Our, th our high on Thursday is 45 with sleet. Because they don't know if it's going to rain or snow. So, uh, you're a uh, you're, uh, multi-local weatherman <laughs> from walking in Nashville. <laughs> um, you know, we've been away for so long, I just wanted to uh, say thank you. And uh, yeah, hope all of you had a good time as well. Hope you enjoyed your holidays. Um, hope everybody had a good, safe Thanksgiving. Oh, and if you watch this, please leave a comment down below. How many plates did you have? <laughs> I had three. One was just pie. <laughs> <laughs> the other two were filled with all the fixings. <laughs> and I mean full. <laughs> John, I think, had two. Yeah, I think. You didn't have pie. No, I didn't have pie. <laughs> I had pie Saturday, though, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh also comment down below your favorite pie. And by the way, just remember it's the holiday season. Don't let yourself be the one to take the last devil bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty, no joking aside. See y'all on Thursday when John Hines returns to Nashville. Oh, by the way, Spencer Stastny sent down to Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs>